In this video, we're going to take a look at solving one-step equations using the subtraction principle. Again, as we solve these problems, you may be able to solve them in your head. However, we're learning a process and a pattern that is going to be very important in showing our work as these problems become much more complex and much more involved. So please take the time to learn this process and show your work. To set up the subtraction principle, though, I want to consider this problem x plus 5 equals 2. Visually, we've got this x hanging out with five positives. One, two, three, four, five positives. And on the other side of the equation, we've got two or two positives. To know what our x is equal to, we need it to be alone. We need to get rid of these five distracting positives. Well, the way we can get rid of positives is by introducing negatives. Three, four, five, because each negative will subtract out with a positive, leaving just the x alone behind. Now, if we introduce five negatives on the left, in order to stay balanced and making sure everything is still equal, we're going to also introduce these five negatives on the right. Again, we get some subtracting out of pieces, but what we see is the x is alone, balancing with negative three, meaning x must represent the number negative three. We can show this visual process on the problem by noticing the x is with five positives. We get rid of those five positives with five negatives on both sides of the equation. They will subtract out, and x is equal to two minus five, or negative three. So what we see, very similar to the addition principle, the subtraction principle tells us to clear a positive, we will just subtract it from both sides. So let's take a look at some examples where we can show our work and see how to find the value for x that makes the equation true. If we balance on the equal sign, in this problem, x plus eight equals negative four, we see these eight positives with x. To get rid of them, we need eight negatives on both sides. The eights will subtract out, and now the x is alone like we want. Negative four and negative eight is negative twelve, and we have our solution. We can always check to make sure our solution is the correct solution by taking our negative twelve and plugging it in for x to see if it's really what makes the equation true. So x is negative twelve plus eight should equal negative four. Well, the negative is bigger, and twelve minus eight is four, Sure enough, we get negative four on both sides. It checks, which tells us our answer is the correct answer. Negative twelve is the solution, the only solution, that will make the original equation x plus eight equals negative four a true equation. Let's try one more problem. Here, the x is on the other side, but it's the same pattern. As we balance through the equal sign, we want to get the x alone which means we need to get rid of these seven positives. To get rid of seven positives, we need seven negatives on both sides. The seven positives and seven negatives subtract out to zero, and we're left with just an x. On the other side, three minus seven is negative four, and we have our solution for x. Again, we can verify our solution by checking it, plugging our solution we found, in for x in the original equation. The original equation was three equals seven plus x, or plus negative four. We want to know, are those equal? Is that a true equation? Well, seven and negative four, the positive is bigger, and seven minus four is three. Three does equal three. We have a true equation, so we know our answer is the correct answer. That's the subtraction principle. If x is hanging out with a positive number, we get rid of it by subtracting it from both sides.